Hello, this is Danielle Zana. Um, I'm doing an update. Um, I'm actually going to talk about how the money disease has affected computing. But don't you ever wonder and think of an operating system that can run your Apple applications, your Windows applications, and your Linux applications. I've always kind of dreamed of such a software, but I didn't ever have the the, the skills in order to accomplish that. Unfortunately, such an operating system it actually exists, and it's called Fen Operating System. And I was thinking, um, you know, I might go to this, but the problem is, um, it is no really, it's actually an open source uh, operating system, uh, and it is capable of running your you know, all your plat uh, operating system platforms, applications, your Windows applications, your um, Apple applications, and your Linux applications. Myself, being an artist, I've been never been much of a fan of Linux. I have used Linux before, and I personally feel it's fine for like browsing the web, watching movies, doing general computing, like, you know, general computing. But uh, as an artist myself, I tend to prefer the Apple, and then secondly, um, Windows 7 is like the cheapest, best um, um, one for for art. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I would gladly like if there was an operating, if Linux ha was capable of instead of doing art. Um, see, before you throw GIMP at me, I've never really liked GIMP. I hated the application, just the way it's set up and everything. I don't like it. Um, I use Photoshop, Coral Photo Paint. Um, I'm trying um, uh, Coral uh, Painter, um, Open Canvas I like, Manga Studio I like. There's quite a variety of software that I like, and then there's some that I dislike. And GIMP, unfortunately, is one of the programs I hate using. Um, but it's nice to actually have an operating system that can run practically any kind of application uh, on your computer. And I feel this is this is what power computing is all about. And um, the only problem why this it actually, it came, it was like, you know, design, I think, um, I couldn't remember, but 2010, this operating system came out. And I say it's, it's brilliant. And, um, it looks like, it's actually, a, it looks like a hybrid Mac, you know, um, Windows 7 kind of operating system. And I was thinking, you know, I like to have this operating system rather than Windows 8, which is absolutely rubbish. Now, the only problem with this operating system uh, in obtaining it is, um, you know, number one, it's still a beta, but um, uh, there is one final, there is an alpha version out, but the problem is you can't really get your hands on it unless you, you know, um, searching, and I still haven't found it, and I'm wanting to find it eventually. Because on the main website, they just give you a um, a brief description what it is, what it does, the, the development team, and all that. But you can't actually download it and uh, your page operating system with it, unfortunately. Um, the reason behind this, why you can't do that, is because of the money disease. Um, it's actually as I as I'm right in a way that. Um, Money and uh, economy is it has reached a point where it's actually um, constraining technology and future development. In the um, this is in the world of computing. So the, this is like the alternative energy of the uh, in the in field of energy. This is the alternative like anti gravity technology in the field of gravity. This is like the alternative operating system in the world of computing, or, you know. And um, I really like to get my hands on it uh, because, you know, I would like to have a computer 
that I can do anything. Um, my Windows PE uh, pointed ears actually, um, which is actually um, skin XP in a sense, had kind of had this idea, but the uh, working levels not really. It was just like an idea, and I'm glad that somebody's actually has actually made an idea in a working operating system um, completely um, from scratch in its own way um, and be, na be able to actually run your programs um, the Windows programs, your Apple programs and all of that on one machine without using dual booting virtual machines and all of that and um, um <clears throat> also your Linux programs. So it's very if that which makes it a very powerful operating system. Um security wise it might be a bit of a problem uh, with all the different viruses. But if you're an Apple user you like you know, if you're safe from uh, viruses because there's not many viruses made for the Apple. However if you might have this operating system. But um just thinking about it, if if it's I don't know really know how what its kernel is and all that. So if it is um designed as like it says, it's a, a built from scratch operating system. So if so it's most likely a Windows element the Windows part of it might be contaminated, but um it doesn't work contaminate your Apple part or your Linux part. Uh, I think that, that was most likely what happened. Because I think it's like if you've got a main um, system and you've got the subsystems which run um, or emulate uh, Windows part, the Linux part, and then the um, the Apple part. So um, yeah, this is the operating system I would like to have. Um, I don't, uh, um, I'm not too sure how it, I just see that this is just a screenshot video which I got. Um, what, um, what I'm just wondering is how will it be able to, um, is it good with the graphics like uh, Windows 7 computer? Is it, is it good, with, good with graphics like the uh, Apple Mac? Is, I don't know. And this is what um, I would like to know, but it didn't seem to run all the applications um, would run the applications that I'd like that I'd like to use. So like um, I do not wish to migrate to Windows 8 or even have Windows 8, but um, I'm forced to actually cough up money even if it's second hand Apple because the way Windows is going is absolutely I don't know. Atrocious to be honest. Um, uh, with the Windows 8, uh, it's very poor designed operating system. User interface practically sucks and everything. Everything about Windows 8 is rubbish. Um, there are certain features like with the system uh, backups and it, but it's all badly arranged and it doesn't really look like it's multitasking and things like that. And when it does, but you, you can't you know, switch between programs and things like, you know, it's, it's crap for desktops, um, and even the Metro interface, I mean, they've basically um, cut out many features with the uh, user interface, the desktop mode part, um, the non-metro uh, screen, they've reduced, um, you know, certain things, and then you weren't able to what ran certain programs that ran in Windows 7 on a Windows 8 machine and all that. Um, um, at least with Windows 7 Ultimate, you have the um, the uh, the virtual machine. So if you've got any 16-bit programs that you still use, um, you run them through the XP mode, which actually. Uh, without opening the virtual machine itself, that just runs in the background and the program runs normally as if you, you know, um, you have a little menu. And I've, I've got a 64-bit machine, and would it be it would be capable to run a um, a 16-bit application through the, you know, the Windows XP mode. Um, so there you have it. Um, 
that's what I'm going to say. Um, um, many things, money is actually a problem with the evolution of technology, the development of technology, and it's really done on purpose to, you know, to take the power away from the people and then the corporations uh, do everything. It's even frustrating as a, if you if you're an artist like or a musician or something like that, and you're wanting to you know um, create music and all that, but you're really limited um, to the software that you have, and um, often the free programs are very basic, and you can't get the effects and things that you need with your art and all your music uh, as compared to the commercial programs. And um, and you need to learn. Uh, unfortunately, you can't learn without actually having the software yourself. So it boils down in um, where people are divided and segregated by what they have in their money and their pockets, and their, regardless of what they can do, how fast they learn, or how you know um, that they, they, they're able to learn and improve themselves. And this is, I feel, is, t is a crime against humanity, um, in a sense, because, um, you know, um, everything is just money orientated, like education, um, everything. Um, it, it's, it's really shocking, and, you know, basically, this, um, basically, the whole thing with copyright is basically a delusion. Fair enough, like I myself, I'm an artist, I create an artwork, and um, the work is copyrighted for me. But I don't have an issue if somebody uses the idea or even remixes my work or, you know, works for my work. Um, that's the whole thing is I give my art um, to people um, to inspire ideas, um, free thought, and all of that. And um, and um, many artists tend to get uppity uh, when people do that um, because it's the way people are conditioned that they feel that they are threatened that uh, the bread is being taken off the table and things like that. So, but even if you have your consciousness and you disagree with the whole thing, sometimes it's you know good to listen to some of these people. Um, because they get really upset with your who hurt them. So, um, but the thing is, um, it's best to do your own stuff, um, as best you can, and, um, and then share, um, that people can, um, use your ideas and things like that. And you're contributing to them, so you're putting things in, um, in order to better humanity. Because at the moment, money isn't better at humanity. It's basically uh, segregating humanity, dividing humanity. And this is also very important um, with Stephen Greer, who, come, who, who has actually charging people for um, conferences and things like this, and even um, ap applications and things like that. It shouldn't, uh, the extraterrestrials are not cash cows. They don't want to be cash cows. This whole thing with money and everything is primitive. And this is a basic example what I am using to show you that, you know, um, it, it's very primitive. Um, yes, yes, money is a commodity and you can't eat or you can't live without it. But it's time to evolve from it because everything's, because you've been restricted to it you become dependent on it, uh, it's virtual, um, it's not real, it's a delusion, um, it worked to build up, you know, the, the sparks of civilization, which you could say, but it's reaching a point where it cannot evolve with um, the evolution of consciousness and the evolution of technology and science and all that. Um, which is what I would say, and this operating system is an exact example of that. And uh, the other problem why this operating system isn't easily downloaded, downloadable, I, I can't find it anywhere yet because I would 
to actually, you know, you have it on my computer, you know, because it would be much better than Windows 7 and all that. But the thing is, I don't know how it will relate with my hardware and all that. Um, but it's um, <clears throat> something to consider and test. I'll just probably would have to back up everything and reformat my computer with this operating system and then try and reinstall my programs and see how it runs whether I'm happy or not you know is it is it lagging when I run um, intense graphics programs things like that um, only time will tell so it looks good at the moment and and, uh, and it's a really brilliant idea and the only thing is this idea is not really getting ex implemented is because um, of all the copyright bullshit and bureaucracy and greediness and snobbishness um, where people are, um, would rather you know and also another thing what I'm also wanting to say is um, you know going on to the money you know these all these corporations and everything they got all the money in it now what annoys the piss out of me is um, you get these charities um, they email you and say um, could you donate this to black pound, two pounds? Why are they targeting people who are basically struggling, um, who sometimes um, have at least, you know, three to four days within a fortnight without having to eat, or they 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 have, you know, they got so many bills and everything, the prices of things going up. And, what, and um, they don't give anything to uh, to charity and all that to you know. I I don't really understand why they target the individuals. Um, this is the whole thing with the money disease. It, it is a big problem in implementing positive change to this planet. And obviously, um, I know how it sounds hard. This that. Um, um, humanity is bound to become extinct and drown in its own money infection if it does not change and and this infection will result in religious zealism it's unbelievable so um, that's why I boycott the monetization of YouTube videos and things like that because money is poison to the planet poison to the survival of humanity even though you depend on it um, you know contributing to humanity from from your consciousness or some people say your heart out of love is, is the best way uh, because you know it is rewarding in the future not to yourself but to everyone and that's the thing it's more than a win-win situation. It's an ultimate win in the end you know, if everyone survives. Um, and you know, that's all I've got to say. Much love. Namaste.